This is a small carnivore that was once um, fairly widespread and common across Southeast Asia uh, and adjacent countries in um, South Asia. It's called a bincherong. Uh, its other common name is bear cat, but it's neither a bear nor a cat. But people seem to think that it looked a bit like that. It's in the family um, Viveridae, which includes genets and civets. So it's actually the largest species of civet that we know of. It's um, an unusual animal in lots of different ways. So it's got very small ears. Um, it has this body which is covered in this kind of dark, grizzly uh, looking fur because the tips of the hairs are white. Uh, the most interesting feature, I think, of them is this long tail, which is actually prehensile. It's a tree dwelling mammal, so it spends a lot of its day um, asleep curled up in a tree and it uses its tail almost like a fifth limb to hang on to the branches. Uh, their favourite food is um, figs, apparently, so they'd be going between the trees looking for, for fruiting fig trees. They do eat other um, food groups as well, uh, such as small rodents, eggs, birds' eggs and so on, some invertebrates. Um, this one's a very old specimen. It's actually registered here at this museum in 1908, July 1908. We can see that in the old register. Um, it came to us by Taronga Zoo, and we still, even to this day, still get specimens by the zoo. Considering its age, it's, it's looking, looking pretty good. <laughs> so this species is featured in the Tales from the Coast exhibition. What do you think about the way the watercolour from around 200 years ago depicts the animal? Look, it's a really, it's a beautiful image. I think it, it is very helpful. It shows the main features, which some of which you can't actually see on the specimen. One of them being the, the white rings or tips of the ears, which have faded in this specimen. And also they've caught the beautiful white whiskers as well, which this one you can barely see them, or if you do see them, they're, they're no longer white. But if you see photos of the living animal, it's really obvious. Also the beautiful orange eyes as well. This one, eyes are always a problem with taxidermy specimens. So um, I've caught that. And also the, the sort of the nature of the, the fur, the sort of grizzly appearance, and even more importantly, the prehensile tail. So they've caught that as well. It's interesting that they've shown it on the ground because it would normally be spend more time in the trees. But if it's based on an animal they had in captivity, then that probably explains why it's on the ground. But I mean, it's just, you can just see it's got that beautiful, it brings it to life, it's got a real character to it, like a real personality, yeah, almost. <laughs> so yeah, it's a lovely image.